fairies and a taxi ride. We're not actually quite sure how you get around on this island, so we have to figure that out to explore. Um, but we got this great view, so let me show you. Check it out. That's our view for the next few days. Ishia, there's a couple different towns on the island itself. So today we're in Forio. It's a quick bus ride um, and there's a bus that circles the entire island and there's one that goes the opposite direction. Super easy to get around. Um, this town is obviously a port town as you can see behind me and there's so many cute little shops to visit while you're here. another town on the island of Ischia and it's quiet. There's no scooters. It's just a couple shops and since it's low season nothing's open basically but that's okay. Uh, we're not on a shopping holiday <laughs> but I'm in sand and I love it. in Ischia and it's an amazing view from up here and there's so much to see and read about. You get a nice little itinerary when you come up here. It's 10 euros. There's a bus that takes you right from um, the marina area up here. Um, super simple and there's so much to explore up here and the view is just unbelievable. Castle is today in Ischia. Actually, the first thing that was built here was in 474 AD by the Greeks. And then, of course, it went back and forth by whoever ruled the area. It eventually became a convent and, you know, housed people who needed to be here. There was a threat of pirates, so it was a safety haven. Um, then, in the early 1800s, the English shelled the entire place because the French were here. And then, later in the 1800s, the King of Naples made the last 30 inhabitants leave the island. So then it was basically a detention center. So it was a prison at that time. So this castle, this convent, this prison has been so many different things. So it's very interesting to see how things look now and how it kind of changed over really the last almost 2,000 years. <laughs> 